Yeah, let's get a Mark in Cleveland. I mean, not Leno. Mark Gay! Hey, boy. Hey, boys, how you doing? Hi, Mark. Marky Mark. Mark. You know, listen to this fucking whale cunt. It's absolutely fucking dry. Dude, I'm just expressing my opinion. <laughs> oh, oh, her. I'm sorry. you got to remember, Jimmy. she's part of the whole fucking rebranding process that Zucker started this nonsense, where she was going to do that fucking variety show at least one or two nights out of the fucking week on NBC, and it bobbed. They had it, like, over Thanksgiving, like, yep. a year or two ago. And she fucking bottomed out, and... Conan only ended up with the NBC gig. You can go back to 2004 and find the articles where uh, NBC was catching all this shit because the demographic was so old compared to the Daily Show and all these other cable hits that they were getting. Entertainment Weekly were writing about. So fucking Zucker turns around. He's like, oh, we got to skew younger because Jay and Dave are too old. So he shows Jay the door when Jay wasn't ready to fucking leave. It's absolutely stupid, and these people who are apologizing for Conan and whatnot have no goddamn clue as to why this whole thing bottomed out the way it did. You're, I forgot really about her bomb of a show. You're right. Her, where, yeah, exactly. Whose fault was that, Rose? Your show fucking, your, your show Enola Gay. Is that whose fault is that? How is that Jay's fault? <laughs> well, it had nothing to do with Jay. It was because no one fucking likes her. You know, and I don't want to make it political, but you look at Zucker, you look at the whole NBC issue, that's what really what the fucking core of it was. It was this whole, we have to be the fucking Daily Show. Who the fuck cares? But do you he understand? Demographic. What a great move he made by not having that fucking albatross around his neck on Fridays. Because when she exactly. got her primetime shot, right, she really bombed. Yep. Absolutely. And she had Liza Minnelli on, I think, right? Yeah. She bombed monumentally. So what do you think she would have done every Friday? She would have made his show there fucking fall into the toilet. A bucket of shit. Thank you for reminding me that. I totally forgot. Yeah, right on, bro. Her Mark tanking. and Cleveland, good call. Yeah, and her career is so bad, she's got to do a radio show. From her house. Boy, yeah, kitchen. you. Jay sucks. <laughs> Getting up and going to work every day and wanting to be a fucking workaholic. He should just sit on his fat ass at home and make them film the Tonight Show or Jay Leto show in his apartment. Yeah. You fucking dope. Last Last clip from Rosie, and we can move on. And kiss each other like men. It's like Jay Leno was some devious, evil plotter, you know? Mm -hmm. They tell him six years ago, by the way, we're going to get a new guy to drive the bus. Enjoy the six oh, years. We've paid you a god-awful amount of money. He has enough money to never, ever worry again about so do you. So do you. So do you, Rosie. So do you. So do you. So do you. So why are you doing a radio show? So why don't you disappear? Stop talking. That would be impossible. Actually, yeah. Stop looking for attention. Why do you have to do radio? Why don't you just fucking? Why don't you just call it in? There's plenty of hungry radio guys who would love your spot. I'm getting. I'm having such a hard time here getting a certain amount of money. Why don't you? Why don't you, Rosie? Why don't you self selflessly step aside and allow me to collect the money that they're giving to you? Ooh, I would like that. H how about that, Rosie? Show some selflessness. Worry again about anything? Not enough for him. It's not right. enough. That's the point. You've got it. Oh, Go do something else. Right, but instead, not only did phone? he say no, he, like, plotted how he could do this. And, you know, I'm going to go somewhere else unless you keep me on NBC and those idiots. Yeah. Who the hell is it, Zucker? Is that Zucker. who it is? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I don't know. He's not long for that job, I can tell you right now. Really? Yeah. It's He's really not. <laughs> I think when somebody puts your feet to the fire and they say, if I don't get this, that's when you're right. Oh, you're why the, the hell they would listen yeah. to him? Feet Ta -ta. to the fire? The guy, like you know, they do with Rosie like with an interview. apple in her mouth? 30 minutes of lame-ass <laughs> comedy up front. Yeah. Lame. Most of it that he takes from Howard Stern. I hate to say that, but oh, it's Oh, here God. we go. Another person oh, that feels like they have to fucking Rosie. lick Howard's ass to do a Rosie. radio Didn't show. Didn't he call you a big, fat you pumpkin head years ago? <laughs> Didn't Howard call her a big, fat pumpkin head uh, Now I know years what this is ago. about. You got to kiss Howard's ass to do a radio show. She thinks that Jay's writers are stealing from anybody. Come oh, on. Howard's all over the thing. It. Howard hates Jay, and he's been pounding Jay, so I guess Rosie feels yeah, like, well, like, I better... Yeah, they don't like each other. Fair enough. I, I better follow suit and do what Howard does because that's how you oh, how you get successful on a radio you, show. You fucking kiss Howard's ass. Give me some old worm. clips of Howard, what he used to say about Rosie during her fucking uh, daytime show. Oh, the stuff he would say about her. Didn't he march right to her fucking studio one time to that confront the, her? I think that was even after the fact. I, I mean, know. just early on when, when she started uh. making the scene, he would insult her weight, her big fat head, her adopted kids. Like, she, he would pound her. What a fucking and now phony. What? Because she's working under the serious moniker, she's got to fucking be like everybody else and, and kiss the ring. Come on, man. Oh, she's an embarrassment. She is a big, fat embarrassment. And her show is not compelling. No. 
minutes of lame ass comedy up front. Mm-hmm. Lame. Yeah. Most of it that he takes from Howard Stern. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Oh, he does. He, <laughs> he does. does. He steals all this hard. shit from Howard Stern. Yeah. Howard Stern has really funny ideas about, you know, Ugh. like the jaywalking, you know, mm-hmm. his ideas. I don't know. It's how it's it's like man on the street interview. Holy shit. Um, by the way, Steve Allen started that with a giant microphone. <laughs> if you really want to talk about the man on the street shit. I believe, uh, and again, I don't know. All, I don't know when jaywalking started, uh, but I think that was before Howard did his thing. I don't even know which thing she's referring to with Howard, but I remember Stutter and John got some shit for posting something on Facebook that said jaywalking was on first. So somebody else may know the details of that. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't actually know it, so I can't pretend I do. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's Howard Stern, frankly. He doesn't have an original concept. And then when you go on that show, you know, for the first few years, I didn't do it. And then yeah. I did it when I had something oh, to promote. Brave. and. You know, he wouldn't well, even look. He doesn't it. look. Wait, why did she? Pro- why, why? Oh, my God. Why? It's a failure. Hey, selfish. Why not go on no. Letterman, who had a better show? Why not, no. selfish? No, you just heard what you said. I didn't do his show, but, but then says, well, when I was promoting something. Yeah. But that's the only time most people do the late night shows is when they're promoting something. No, but selfish. Why did you go on his show? Why not show a little fucking loyalty and go on Conan's show later? Or Dave across the street, who you obviously like better. You fucking phony. Why'd you smile in Jay's face? He's the plotter. Someone, Maybe you were plotting to fucking promote your shit project, so you went on the biggest show. And someone is reminding us, uh, Keith, actually, Niagara Falls, he had a fucking Rosie puppet. Did he? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rosie puppet. Yeah. He would pound her. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. And dog shit sniffer from Woodside. The dog that's shit sniffer. It's not his real name. No, that's the real one. There's some imitators out there. Oh, okay. I have a whole new look on the skin tag on my asshole. It's my new buddy. <laughs> it's your sidekick. You know, for the first few years, I didn't do it. And then I did it when I had something to promote. And, you know, he wouldn't even look. He doesn't look you in the eye when he asks the question. And it's not because mm-hmm. I'm so good. I'm just telling you, these are the realities that you're not allowed to sort of get around just by saying, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. You know, Jay. And you know what? You're 60 years old. You should have learned it by now. Sharing is caring. And everybody has to retire. Why don't you, yeah, no, he's, Rosie? Yeah, we'll then right leave. Yeah, yeah, there's radio guys would, that would love your spot. How about you a fucking of, retire? A lot of radio guys that have way more experience than you that are uh, not working right now. So why don't you do the right thing? Yeah. You're, you're pushing what? How old is she? 500 pounds. Oh, yeah. She's got to be Age. 55 years old at least. She has to be. Maybe pushing 50. a fucking catapult. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you step aside? There's a lot of guys that are starving that would love your spot. This that, is why that, she's have so a, hateable. have a lot more experience in radio. You actually said that Jay, you thought Jay screwed you. So Jay actually called her to talk about it. Like he'll call comics who badmouth him. Jay is a, an upfront guy. He's not a phony who hides behind a bunch of people. He'll pick up the phone and call somebody personally to go, what's going on? Why are you saying that stuff? He calls people out. So you didn't like Leno. He didn't want you on his show for Fridays. And why would you fucking whore yourself, Miss Integrity, and go on his show? Sharing is caring, unless it's a cake. <laughs> she didn't. Why didn't she just go on Letterman's show? Yeah. Why would you go on Jay's show if you hate him so much? Miss, I have some integrity and some honesty. All right, let's say uh, the other side of this, which is fine. All uh, right. Noel or Noel. Hello, Christmas. In Massachusetts, born in December, oh, I'm boy. assuming. Yes, Noel, how are you? It's Noel, but who gives a fuck, right? Who gives Take a this fuck? Out. Take this out. Jimmy, I love you. Thank you. Noel. End of discussion. All right, go ahead. No, no, it's not the end of discussion. You got Jay Leno's cock so far down your throat, it's crazy. What are you going to say stuff about me now because I don't like Jay Leno? Not at all. Dude, listen to me. I don't mind hearing because bad things. Hold on. I want people to hear you, though. The, the anger. You're going to attack me. No, I'm not. Really hard. What I'm angry I'm at, saying? dude, is I not... Wait. I can't wait, Jimmy. Shut up and let me talk, Jimmy. I'm not Shut angry up. at people not liking <laughs> Leno. Talk, Jimmy, what I'm angry talk, at yeah. is people spitting out facts incorrectly. Like, if someone calls up and they go, Conan's funny, Leno <laughs> sucks. That's a comedy that, opinion. Jimmy. You're allowed to have that. You know the, show. the guy just wants me to yell at him. I'm, dude, I'm not going to yell at you. My frustration is not with listeners. It's with <laughs> Rosie and people in the business. That is the inconsistency. Yeah, you're going to act all calm now because of what I said, Jimmy. You're going to pretend that everything he is got cool you, Jimmy. and that you He's don't got you. What position are you taking on the Conan Leno thing and why? Excuse me? Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't know Jay Leno, Conan, nothing, but I know O&A show, and I listen to you every morning. As you should. I can hear the anger in your voice every time somebody, uh, a clip, or somebody calls in and they don't like Jay Leno, you just go fucking crazy. Have I gone crazy over people not liking Leno or over people reporting things inaccurately? When he kicks you off the show, Jimmy, which I hope he doesn't because I fucking love you. 
when he does, everybody remember this. You're going to hear Jimmy Norton talking so much fucking shit about Jay mm. Leno. You know what? Not true, dude. I really, I got to tell you, Noel, I don't think he'll. Uh, I, I'm a I loyal really, dude. Yeah, I really don't think he would. I really oh, don't. I'm a, dude, I'm a loyal I re- guy. I really don't think he would. When Opie and Anthony were all, off the air for 26 to... months, I didn't talk shit. I didn't go on certain radio shows at the risk of not promoting shows. So don't tell me what I would do, I, brother. I think Jay has been so good to Jimmy. If, let's say, Jay goes back to 1130, God forbid there's not a spot for Jimmy. I don't think Jimmy comes back Never. on our show and trashes Jay. I really, yeah. don't, I really don't. I really don't know. 